Today we'll be talking about the chilling case of Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Nicholas Godhan with the murder of Gypsy's mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. Gypsy Rose was born in 1991 and was the daughter of Dee Dee and Rob Blanchard. Like many young girls, she was obsessed with Disney, loved stuffed animals, and listening to all types of music. She liked meeting new people and was the sweetest girl. Gypsy also suffered from all kinds of illnesses, or that's what was portrayed. She was raised by her mother, and together they were known as America's Sweethearts, but what seemed like this ideal mother-daughter relationship would soon come to a cost. The mother-daughter relationship was not all it was made out to be. You see, Dee Dee Blanchard suffered from a disease known as Munchausen by proxy syndrome, which is where someone that is really close to someone fakes that they have an illness to get sympathy from others. Dee Dee would make claims about Gypsy's health and resulting in a long list of diagnoses because she wanted to be a caretaker. There are many illnesses that Gypsy was claimed to have. When Gypsy was a baby, Dee Dee claimed that she suffered with sleep apnea. When she was eight, she said she suffered with leukemia and muscular dystrophy, which put her in a wheelchair and had her use a feeding tube. Other medical conditions would soon include asthma, seizures, vision impairment, mental retardation, and hearing impairments. Some of her treatments were prescribed many, prescribed many medications, used a breathing, a breathing treatment machine. She also had many surgeries that included surgery on her eyes and a surgery to remove her salivatory glands and having all her teeth pulled due to the medication rotting her teeth. The truth behind this was that Gypsy could walk and in fact didn't have cancer or have the need for the feeding tube. Dee Dee manipulated her daughter and doctors and everyone in that fact that her daughter had these illnesses. She would shave Gypsy's head and tell her that it was going to fall out due to the treatment of her leukemia and bound her to a wheelchair because if she walked, it would make her worse. She was a protective mother who wouldn't let her go anywhere without her. Gypsy was not allowed to share information with the doctors, and if she had to answer the questions, they were orchestrated by Dee Dee. It was no life for Gypsy. Gypsy supposedly found documents saying her actual age and medical records. After a short while, she started painting, putting the pieces together of how abusive her loving mother actually is. Gypsy's boyfriend of four years, Nicholas, after a long time question, after a one-time question, stabbed Dee Dee Blanchard 17 times in the back while she slept. In Gypsy's teenage years, she started to figure out that her mother was lying. She found medical records and other paperwork that didn't really make sense. In 2014, doctors were starting to figure things out, but that didn't stop Dee Dee. In 2011, Gypsy met her online boyfriend, Nicholas Go to John, on a dating website while keeping him a secret. She told him everything. They planned that killing Dee Dee was her only way out, and so in June 2015, Gypsy bought him a bus ticket. They were later found by police and found guilty of the murder. Before the arrest, they found the body on the supposed Facebook post that Gypsy made on Dee Dee's page. She made a very explicit sentence saying about a bee being dead. And then we actually found out that Gypsy was 19 and not 17, like her mother was lying to her about. Nicholas was sentenced to life in prison without parole, and Gypsy was sentenced to 10 years in prison and will be released on parole in 2024. She says she's not happy with her mother and not she's not happy her mother is dead, but happy she's out of that situation.